morning hi everyone so today I'm going to make some butternut squash soup I'm gonna make it a little easy for me and do it in my uh, instapot but you can certainly do this on the stove top you just have to actually stir it and cover it and watch it but the instapot makes it super easy so let's see what we have uh, for ingredients and get to cooking all right, here are my ingredients for a quick and easy butternut squash soup. I'm just going to tell you what I've already done. Here I've got diced onions and two cloves of garlic I minced up. Here I've got a um, package of tofu. It's the silking kind. It's going to work really good in soup to mix in instead of adding any cream. I like the soft works good for soup because it just breaks apart. Some vegetable broth. My spices. I've got a teaspoon of nutmeg. Um, almost a teaspoon of this frozen pizza seasoning from Pensy's. It's like an Italian type seasoning, but with a little twist. I put a little cayenne in there and black pepper, and I've got some salt back here in case I need it. I'm gonna have an apple. We're gonna peel that and just cut it up a little bit to add some sweetness in our butternut squash. Now you can buy frozen and put it in. I like to buy mine whole and cut it up and do it that way. So I will show you how I cut that up now and then we'll start cooking. And I'll, We'll throw this in the Instant Pot and make a really easy soup for us. Alright, now we're going to cut off the ends of the butternut squash top and bottom to get a flat surface. I also cut it in half here. I'll set it up and actually before you cut this part in half, trim off the uh, outside skin. Then you can cut it in half. This bottom part has all the seeds. So usually it will be a little more round than the top part. Scoop those out with a spoon and you can toss them. Here I did both sides. Now this is where I messed up and I didn't cut the skin off first. It's a little hard once you cut it in half. So, take the skin off first and it'll be a lot easier for you. The skin can be a little tough. Just go slow. Little pieces. Do the same to the other side. Alright, so I have them both peeled. Now this side is solid. I'm going to cut it in half. This can take some muscle, even with a good knife. Next we're going to dice all of our butternut squash. Again, it's a firm vegetable takes a little pressure to cut through it, especially those thicker pieces. Doesn't have to be very small dices. Just enough so that it evenly cooks and doesn't take too long to soften. We're going to roughly cut up this apple that I peeled. You can use an apple slicer too. It's just as easy with the knife. Just cut it up so it cooks also. Alright, so we're going to cook our, um, or actually saute up our onion and garlic here in the Instapot. Got the saute function on. And since I'm going to do it this without oil, I'm just going to put some of my broth in. Hotter than the 85. Harder to put in earlier. Anyways. Let's 
So onion, garlic just goes in. We're going to saute that up. Another thing I've noticed is you have to watch your vegetables when you're not using oil because they don't get coated. That's how I always call it, I feel. And stir them and just add, you know, a little bit of liquid as needed. Our onions look nice and translucent. They smell good. So I'm going to actually put the rest of the soup ingredients in. We're going to put four cups of broth. Now I know that this container is about that, so I just put it in my whole container. I'm going to put in the whole butternut squash. to look up what an average butternut squash is. Alright. Apple. And our spices. Nutmeg, Italian seasoning, cayenne if you want it, pepper. Now I like to have my butternut squash needs a little more water. It's almost covered but not white. So I'm just going to add a little water to this one. Depends on your squash and how big it is. There we go. There. It doesn't have to completely cover, just most. I like to get it Mostly covered. High pressure, 20 minutes. And then we'll check back in. Alright, we're just letting the steam out. We had let it uh, naturally vent for about 18 minutes. Let's see how we look. It smells really good too. Quite nutmeggy. Alright, so then our next step is to put our tofu in and I just usually immerse and blend it. So we'll be we'll do that here in just a minute. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can uh Put it in a normal blender. Sometimes you have to put in like half and then another half. And you just have to be careful with the soup being hot. I'd let it cool some first. Alright, go see how well I can do this standing here. So I've got our tofu. I literally just cut it open. It has a little bit of juice. Not a ton. As you can tell, it's already breaking apart. Ooh, that was not very smooth of me. Alright, I'm going to blend this up. See how it looks. Alright, there we have it. I'll blend it up. See the tofu gives it a nice creamy texture. It's actually really hot right now, so I'm going to let it cool. I would recommend just kind of tasting a little of it. Make sure there's enough salt. You can always add a little more if you feel like it's lacking. Or pepper. But this soup is done. It's got a little bit of protein with the tofu. Sometimes I like to add lentils, beans, right, brown rice, whatever I got laying around to it. Or eat it with a sandwich or something on the side to kind of boost your protein. So butternut squash soup is done and I've got it bowled up here. Bowled up. It's hard to tell because of the lighting. Because it got later and I ran to the store and it's now like dark outside. But it's a nice kind of creamy 
light orange color because of the tofu. So I'm going to give this a try here. Mm. It's really sweet. That uh, apple makes it very sweet and really easy to eat. It's nice and creamy, but it's not too heavy. Like if you were to be using a um, traditional whole, like cream or whatever normally it's put in it. I've never made it with milk. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy uh, making yourself some soup also. Leave a comment below. Bye! I feel like I should do a meet my cat section. This is Jadzia. Say hi, Jad. She says, I'm not going to move while you record me. She's the one who sometimes rubs against things and gets in trouble while I'm trying to make videos. <laughs> Here's Tinkerbell. She says, I don't cause trouble. Leave me alone. Tell my sister to stop bothering me.